The number of strokes in a Chinese name is considered quite significant. And Masami's name has the same number of strokes as her father's. She is delivering manual speech number three, get to the point, five to seven minute speech, entitled, My Precious Experience at the Monterey Adult School. Please welcome Masami Mei. Soy de Japón. Soy una maestro de inglés en Japón. Esta es mi primer tiempo aprender inglés en los Estados Unidos. Hello, my name is Masami. I'm from Japan. I'm an English teacher in Japan. This is my first time to teach English in the United States. I have had a great experience this week because I had a chance to teach English at the Montreal Adult School. Last year, I met Leslie, who teaches English at ESL class in Montreal Adult School. I needed to supervise her because I was teaching, uh, I was taking teacher supervision seminar. I hesitated to supervise her because she is more experienced teacher than I. I found she is a very passionate and dedicated teacher, and I asked to visit her class when I had time. Since then, I visited her once a week and helped her as an assistant English teacher. The students who are mostly Spanish speaking became very friendly to me and looked I looked forward to seeing, him, seeing them, visiting her in class. Then one day, a great chance came. I asked Leslie if I could teach English. She said yes. I was thrilled. But then I discovered the English levels vary. Some students have been here for more than 10 years. Other students came here just yesterday. I have never taught such a heterogeneous group. Mm, what should I do? First, I figure out what kind of language they need to communicate with people who speak English. People had intuition to communicate with, uh, to communicate with, to know each other. So I decided to teach the expression I like, do you like, yes I like, no I don't like. Yeah. I prepared my introduction in Spanish and I thought I did a good job, but I once, I once began to teach, I felt something was not working. My English, I recognized most children could not understand my English. They looked at me with perplexed face. One student who speaks English fluently says something in Spanish, and then the other student said, "Ah!" They looked. They took out the notebook and began to write. This made me very nervous, but I tried to do my best to use simple English. Some students understand me and did activity, but some did not and showed negative expressions. <laughs> After I taught, Leslie asked the student what they felt my lesson. They gave me some positive feedback, but I was not satisfied. On the second day, I prepared two games to practice expression I like and do you, do you like. They were involved in the activities and the class experience became very positive. The third day, six new students joined the class. There were 58 students in total. 
I took 20 students, and Leslie had 38 students. I introduced the gesture games, such as one Mexican boy volunteered, made a movement, like dancing. He helped me a lot. <clears throat> they laughed and concentrated on the activities. On the first day, I did not teach a class because I had a party, we had a party last night prior to, pri uh, prior to the spring break. I demonstrated how to make sushi. Several students tried to make raw sushi with me. We enjoyed talking, eating, and dancing. I even danced with salsa with my friend, <laughs> with my student. Japanese woman teaches English to Spanish-speaking people in the United States. That's way cool, isn't it? <laughs> 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 